thank you for joining us. We're still in Psalm 23. We're going to move on to Thou anoints my head with oil and my cup overflows. He gives us an anointing. In some ways, anointing represents the Holy Spirit. He, he puts the Holy Spirit within us in a way that when we receive the Holy Spirit, we get to see things and experience things because of the anointing. He anoints our head. He anoints us. He sets us aside. He sets us apart from the world. When they would anoint kings, like when they anointed David king, they anointed his head with oil. And he said it ran down. Same thing. He's coming to anoint us with the Holy Spirit. He's coming to anoint us, to set us apart so that we can go forward in a new strength, a new power that's not of our own making, but it's him, the shepherd, who's leading, who's guiding, preparing, who's saying that there's more. When it's with me, there's more. More responsibility, yes. More power, yes. More blessing, yes. Oh yeah, there'll be tough times, yes. But he's saying he's got to anoint us. And when he anoints us, our cup overflows. What does that mean? Uh, the place where we receive what God has for us overflows. Sometimes we look around and things are so tough we don't think our cup is overflowing. At that point, we need to, one, make sure we check our relationship with the shepherd. And if we are following the shepherd, then trust me, we need to take another look at the cup. Because even in the midst of trouble, the cup overflows. So today, let's make sure that we are seeing our cup is overflowing with blessings. Because in the midst of whatever we have going on, he's still blessing. Our cup still overflows. We are not forgotten. We're not forsaken. We're not left out. We're not left behind. He's leading us. He's with us as long as Jesus is our shepherd. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.